such a fantastic rider's bike. My name's Guy Kesterman. I've been a professional mountain bike and kit tester for nearly 25 years. And today, the bike I'm live ride reviewing after two months living with it and loving it is Mondraker's Crafty R. Stunning looking Bosch powered trail e bike. So, you got a Bosch Generation 4 motor, fully updated to 85 Newton meters, so plenty of power. You've got full size Bosch power tube battery. But what I really like, even though this is the entry level Crafty, Mondraker has still fitted the top of the range Keox head unit. That not only gives you route feedback if you need it and a full set of riding stats, which you can toggle through using the lever on the left. But what I really like about it, it's actually got a power meter for how much you're putting in. And you can attach it to your heart rate monitor. So anyone who thinks e-bikes don't require some effort, I'm doing 300 watts at the minute. Heart rate of 156. And the other thing is, it's super easy to work with. I mean, I just paired the heart rate monitor straight away in the car park. And it's also more sort of discreet and compact than the big Purion unit. And because mechanically, it's such an efficient pedaling bike, it can run a nice open compression tune on it. So when you're not on the power, it's really smooth and sensitive. And that same kinematic means it deals with square edge hits really well too. But just little things like the fact they're not super heavyweight tires and the fact it's got 34 tooth chain ring. They're all geared towards a bike that's naturally faster over mixed terrain. But even though, you know, this is Mondraker's trailer bike, it's still getting that big Fox 38 fork up front and Fox DPX2 piggyback shock on the rear and it's a really long stroke rear shock so 65 mil stroke off a 205 mil eye to eye length and that is feeling fantastic down here because as you can see well this is pretty rowdy and while it's only the performance model that grip damper just feels seriously smooth there's no trace of it switching or fluttering about and of course Mondraker for the brand who started short stem super long top tube bikes in the mainstream when they introduced forward geometry they were so far ahead of the curve and this is a Super short, 30 mil stem, but just gives that lovely steering sensitivity and poise with the stability of that 490 mil reach on this large and 1265 mil wheelbase. So it can carve the front lines with no worries at all. Whew! Ha <laughs> ha! I'll let it run. I've followed the locals down here. And they can just let it flow and drift on the screen. But I'm just not used to it. And these 2.6s, they kind of drift around more than a narrow tyre, but so smooth, no trace of arm pump, and I've not heard anything banging off the rims yet, so that's all good. I'm not worried about the rims as such. These DT Swiss hybrid wheels are pretty much indestructible, but yeah, because this is a trail bike rather than a form gravity bike, you're only getting. XO plus tire carcasses, so you know, I need a tiny bit more looking after. <laughs> Although, to be honest, I didn't look after them down there and they were fine. And that was definitely the easiest descent I've had down Garbon and undoubtedly the easiest climb up it as well. 
Well, I guess that's not a surprise. Second mini pass of the day, and obviously 65.5 head angle isn't certainly isn't the slackest in its travel category. E-bike or not, and 350 mil bottom bracket is relatively high too, and the battery isn't particularly low slung so it's not quite as stable when you're flat out on the screen at Garbon as some bikes would be but this forward geometry handling feels so responsive and immediate and beautifully balanced really quick intuitive responsive steering feel which has always been you know signature thing on Mondraker oh I know what this section is I'll find this <laughs> it was not fun <laughs> but there's loads of really nice features in the frame as well you've got 17 mil axles on all the pivots you've got hop quality enduro max bearings you've got this beautifully sculpted stale fire line frame and the way the shock punches back through the straddle on the seat tube and the shock sits on the linkage not on the main frame that reduces loading on the frame and it means they can get exactly the shock rate and shock response that they want out of the system they've invested just the right amount in terms of the kit it's perfectly serviceable as well yeah it's a real mix single shot nx shifter gx rear mech heavy duty sx set and then 34 tooth SRAM steel chain ring on this race face a effect e-bike crank so you know it's not headline stuff by any means but you're not gonna burst into a flood of tears when you wear it out or smash it on a rock oh hello <laughs> and obviously because you've got that slightly higher bottom bracket height there's zero drama about pedal clearance going up loose rocky sections like gates guard here and I'm still only in tour two thirds of the battery left okay so the whole point of fighting <laughs> up down build is kind of really emphasize the agility of the forward geometry on these hairpins at the top and oh. <laughs> dude that windy tweaking stays great you know this is my first big proper out there adventure ride in months coming back a broken leg I was meant to have a riding buddy today because he shouldn't really be out in mid-November in the late at the top of that build on your own but he had to split unforeseen circumstances but this crafty has been absolutely perfect for it that full geometry balance and just that beautiful poise that zero suspension on the back is just impeccable now I know exactly what the rear wheel's doing and it's doing exactly what I wanted to do and also that new Bosch motor with that little bit of half rev run on is just perfect for these sections where you can only get a really short power stroke in so even though this might not have been the uh, calm sunny day the forecast was promising this is exactly what this bike is brilliant at proper trail riding and to be honest it's been a while since I've tested the Mondraker I was almost concerned considering kind of you know other brands have kind of copied so many of the things that made them so outstanding geometry suspension I was slightly concerned that 
they'd have kind of lost their edge, but this track is just totally proof. Far from it. Everything that's made them such a fantastic rider's bike. That vibe, it's just, it's nothing. I mean, obviously, it is in the numbers, but it's also just in the way they put the frame, suspension, components, and everything together. They just create these beautiful feeling bikes that are just in their absolute element, in the most enjoyable technical terrain like this. And of course, having a motor and battery on it means you just get even more of that. So, this craft is like all the best bits of Mondraker, but more. And while this crafty R does a brilliant job of being cost effective with no compromise in all the really important aspects of suspension, frame, wheel set and handling, if you're lucky enough to be able to afford more, there's the carbon crafties as well, just some of the lightest bikes around. So, that Mondraker vibe is as alive as it ever was. And in fact, with the motor in, it might be more alive than ever. So, this was meant to be a big adventure to showcase the crafty, but it wasn't meant to be this much of an adventure. But I've survived and actually it's just served to show what a brilliant bike this is uh, for taking on the toughest challenges and uh, helping you through it. And But still with that amazing signature Mondraker vibe. So, massive thanks to Mondraker and Silverfish in the UK for uh, sending me the bike to test and for sponsoring this video. Uh, massive thanks to my Patreon supporters who uh, pledge a small amount every month for, to help with the channel. If you like what I'm doing and you like the idea of exclusive, extended, behind the scenes edits uh, on bikes before everyone else sees them and a higher level of communication with me, then please consider supporting me through Patreon on a monthly basis. But uh, for now, thank you very much for watching. Uh, please subscribe, please click for notifications so you see all the videos I've got coming up. Uh, give it a thumbs up because that really helps with the algorithms and gets the video shared more. Like, obviously it's been a bit more kind of wild and epic than normal and apologies for the sound quality or in places if it's suffered and also when the lens has got wet and so on. But this is a proper mountain bike and I just wanted to, you know, I've kind of, I've kind of held on to make the video until I could do a ride that did it justice. Uh, so I will do a tech talk round uh, where I'm looking at the bike while well, it's just stood still so you get a lot of better idea of the detail and everything and can really see and appreciate that. Uh, so make sure you watch that edit as well. I've been Guy Kestevan on Guy Kest TV talking about the Mondraker Crafty R.